How do wind turbines make it out to sea? If you're an engineer or just curious, you're going to love this. Three, two, one, let's go. We are in Runa, a fishing village off the island of Bornholm, Denmark, which is currently the epicenter of one of the largest renewable energy projects in Europe, the Baltic Eagle Offshore Wind Farm, a joint venture between Iberdrola and Mazdar. This port is where these enormous pieces are being prepared before being transported to be installed in the Baltic Sea, specifically 30 kilometers northwest of the island of Rügen in Germany. Here we can find all the components that will form part of some of the most powerful wind turbines in the world. The towers, the nacelle, the rotor, and the blades. All supported by huge monopiles anchored to the seabed. But the most spectacular part is their voyage to the wind farm. Two large ships are responsible for transporting the foundations and the wind turbines. The final piece of the puzzle is carried out by a vessel that is capable of lifting itself out to the sea, thanks to its long legs, so it can fit all the pieces together. The Baltic Eagle is one of Iberdrola's three major offshore wind projects in Germany that will help avoid the emission of 800,000 tons of CO2 each year thanks to its 476 megawatts clean energy capacity, distributed amongst 50 wind turbines, providing clean electricity to nearly half a million homes. That's all from us. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up to learn more about projects like this. See you soon.